from the ocean. A chemical is extracted that is used in the production of many things we take for granted. It's used in photography, in the manufacture of pharmaceuticals, and in medical research, in helping maintain healthy crops of fruit, vegetables, and cereals. in dyes, and as a flame retardant in the manufacture of furniture. In bleaches and disinfectants. In water treatment systems. In the production of car tires. And as an additive in leaded petrol. What is that chemical? Bromine. In Anglesey is the largest bromine plant of its kind in the world. The warm waters of the Gulf Stream which pass the rocky headland at Amluch are ideal for the extraction of bromine. The plant was built in 1953 and forms a key part of the Octel group. With plants throughout Europe, Octel is one of the world's largest producers of transport fuel additives, bromine and other chemical intermediates. Octel's core business and the one on which the company was founded is the production of lead alkyl anti-knock compound for the gasoline industry. One of the main components in antinoc compound is dibromoethane, a chemical which results from a reaction between bromine and ethylene. Most of the bromine produced at Amluch goes into motor fuel additives. It takes about 22,000 tonnes of seawater to make one tonne of bromine. Every minute, 300,000 gallons of seawater are drawn into the Amluch plant by huge pumps. The water is lifted some 50 feet into the seawater ponds, where any marine debris is removed. From the ponds, it's passed into the seawater main, where chlorine and dilute sulfuric acid are added. This releases the bromine which is then literally blown out of the water in these blowing out towers. The treated water enters the tower at the top, where it's spread out in a shower. It drops over 20 feet through the packed section of the tower, where it's met by upward currents of air generated by the fans. On meeting the airstream, most of the bromine is stripped from the seawater. The water is returned to the sea, and the wet, bromine-laden air passes from the top of the tower to be treated with sulphur dioxide and water. This produces mists of hydrobromic and sulfuric acids. These mists pass into an absorber, where the acid coalesces. From here, it flows to a collecting tank. The virtually bromine-free air is returned to the blowing-out tower where the cycle begins again. The acidic product from the absorber is now referred to as primary acid liquor and contains about 13% bromine as hydrobromic acid. The primary acid liquor is next pumped to the steaming out tower. It enters the top of the tower where it's treated with chlorine and steam. This releases the bromine as a vapour which is then condensed to form a liquid. The bulk of the bromine produced goes into making dibromoethane. The remainder is sold or used to make other bromine intermediates. Octel is totally committed to quality and has achieved quality assurance accreditation by the British Standards Institute. Rigorous testing and quality control procedures ensure that all the products manufactured at Amluch conform to the highest standards.
the Amluk Works does handle toxic materials, but in a carefully controlled environment. We invest heavily in designing and implementing systems and procedures which ensure our products can be produced and transported safely. The manufacturing plants are operated as closed systems. This means that any hazardous substance is contained in a pipeline system and as such doesn't present a risk. If it's necessary to break into these closed systems to carry out maintenance or repair work, strict safety procedures are followed by all concerned. Right, welcome to our COSH training session and COSH stands for the control of substances hazardous to health. Training is a key factor in ensuring employees are knowledgeable about the products and skilled in handling them safely. In the unlikely event of an emergency, well-rehearsed plans involving our own personnel and the local emergency services have been designed to minimize the risk to people, plant and the environment. Safety permeates every aspect of life at Amluch and Octel is committed to the most rigorous safety management systems. We're continually reviewing our methods and procedures with the aim of identifying areas where improvements can be made. Chemical manufacturers are often labelled as polluters. Yet the Amluch works and surrounding area are rich in plant and animal life. Our effluent discharge is over 99.99% seawater. And although it's slightly acidic, most popular fizzy drinks contain three or four times as much acid as the water we put back into the sea. The foaming which sometimes occurs around the effluent outfalls is caused by the presence of a phytoplanktonic organism which foams up in areas of intense turbulence. This is a natural phenomenon which occurs widely around the coasts of the Eastern Irish Sea in spring and summer. But our own teams of specialists, backed up by sophisticated analytical equipment, continually monitor the environment to ensure our standards are more stringent than any government legislation demands. And the various government bodies themselves conduct regular checks on the site and surrounding area. Since first coming to Anglesey in the early 1950s, Octel has become part of the community. The plant employs over 130 people, the majority of whom live in Amluch itself. We pay nearly three and a half million pounds a year in wages and pensions. spend over three quarters of a million on the purchase of services in the area. And a further quarter of a million pounds goes in rates. In all, a major contribution to the health of the local economy. But with the move to lead-free petrol, sales of anti knock compound and hence dibromoethane, are in decline. To counter this, the Octel Group have been expanding their activities in intermediate chemicals and diversifying into new product areas. A small proportion of Octel's output at Amluch is already in these new areas. But this must increase as the need for dibromoethane declines. We hope to build new plants at Amluch which will maintain the viability of the works. But additional land will be required for this to be achieved. Nowadays, all new chemical plants need to be approved by local government, the Pollution Inspectorate, the Factory Inspectorate, and the National Rivers Authority. Chemical plants have never been so tightly controlled. These controls ensure that the highest standards of safety are achieved and that the effects on the environment are negligible. Our goal is to ensure we continue to live in harmony with the community and the environment, provide secure long-term employment, and keep Amluch 
a profitable part of the Octel Group as the world's number one producer of bromine from coastal seawater.